Shalom. First off, I would like to give our praise to you. How about Shem? I was by Shem Kakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the teacher who will labor in 100% doctrine. Where I learned the truth from. Shalom to the hopeful elect that's pushing the truth and our righteousness and sincerity around the four winds of the earth. Okay, I'm the Ikem Ha'amayan. And uh, so lucky for the noise, I'm at this truck stop. I just felt like making me a lesson. You gotta do this work, man, no matter what. This is Revelation chapter 14. Because um, you so called Negro, Latino, Native American, and two thirds of you, man, y'all don't believe that America is gonna be uh, put together, man. You military men and women, y'all love this country, y'all love East Side Eden so much. But I'm finna let the scripture talk. Revelation chapter 11, verse 14. The second woe is past. When you go into that word woe, it mean um, misery and trouble, great sorrow and distress. Okay, what happened in World War One? Misery and trouble, great distress. What happened in World War Two? Misery and trouble, great distress. The second war was passed. Behold, the third war coming quickly. The third world war is coming, man. It's brewing up, man. These countries are going to take America, which is Babylon the Great. Okay. It's filthy place, man. It's gonna, it's gonna, these countries are gonna, Yahweh by Shemal Shah gonna put his spirit on these countries, these leaders, okay, to um, nuke America, man. They're gonna turn their back on this place, man. America ain't gonna, ain't, it's not a big bully no more, man. That virgin is gonna get a cherry pop, man. So like it for my language, man, okay? Because I'm sick of these two third Jakes that don't have no knowledge, man. Holding on to Babylon. And don't even understand that this place is going down, man. Okay? That's why I told a guy last night. I said, man, keep living, man. Lord willing, man. He let you see the downfall of uh, America, man. Okay? Because y'all y'all, y'all hold on to this place so much. And don't even have no knowledge of the fact that you how about your mouth shot hate this place. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 10. And it reads, standing afar out for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. One hour, man, is thy judgment come. One hour, Yahweh Shemal Shah is going to nuke this place. 200 million missiles going to hit this place. Okay? 200 million missiles going to hit this place. Revelation chapter 9, verse... Uh, Verse 15, I'm going to start at 15, the point is in 16. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, thousand. And I heard the number of them. Okay. Now, the average person to read isn't be like, oh, 200,000, thousand. No, you take 200,000 times 1,000. That's how you get 200 million. Okay. The scriptures say, Lord say, um, it is given unto you to, uh, to know the mystery. Unto, it is not given unto them, roughly paraphrasing. Okay? These people are old bottles. You can't put new wine in old bottles, man. These people bugged out. Okay? America, which is Babylon the Great, is going to be burnt and taken down by thermonuclear fire, man. Okay? So, that's all I want to bring out. Lord willing, I drop another lesson. And uh, I keep it going until you have your mouth shot come back, man. Okay? With that being said, Lord willing, you was edified. I would like to give our glory, honor, and infinite praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Makarvadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, the teacher who will labor in 100% doctrine. I learned his truth from. Shalom to the hopeful elect, pushing his truth and now righteousness and his sincerity around the four winds of the earth. Shalom above above.